Hello everyone, I'm Agov from EasyDMark and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to walk you through about DMARC policies and how to safely transition from PNON to P-Reject. Let's start. Today, more than 90% of phishing attacks begin with an email. This makes email security, especially DMARC, a high priority for all organizations. Due to its complexity, there are many misconceptions about DMARC and its policies. To begin with, DMARC policies are set of rules that you tell the email receivers or the mailbox providers on what to do with the non-legitimate email flow from your domain name. There are three main policies for DMARC, PNON, pcrentine and pReject. Now let's dive into each policies separately. PNON is the first and the most crucial stage of your DMARC journey, no matter how many sending sources that you use. This monitoring stage will not affect your email deliveries. And the importance of it lies in data gathering, get a full picture of your sending sources, fix any misconfigurations, and gradually enforce your policy to higher levels. So once you have gathered enough data and fixed any misconfiguration issues in your monitoring stage, now it's time to start with your quarantine policy. This policy will direct all the illegitimate email flows into the recipient junk or spam folder. The importance of it lies in the gradual enforcement before reaching to the highest stage for you to be always up to date with any changes, with any anomalies in your email infrastructure. The ultimate goal of your DMARC journey is to reach to peer reject. In this stage, you are certain that all your legitimate sources are properly configured while you are instructing all the receiving site or the mailbox providers to block any unknown sources or the hackers who are trying to send fraudulent emails pretending to be you. This is the highest policy to fight against email spoofing and impersonations. To summarize, this process can take some time, from three months to a year, depending on the complexity of your email infrastructure. It is so important to understand that first, we need to gather the data, to analyze the reports, to fix any misconfiguration issues within our email ecosystem, and then gradually enforce our policies to higher levels. And once we reach to the highest policy of peer reject, it is also important to consider that we need to have some alerts in place as many organizations are pretty dynamic and you will need to be always up to date with any changes within your organization. So this is everything you need to know about DMARC policies. If you have any questions about DMARC implementation or enforcement, feel free to reach our team at EasyDMARC. 